Welcome back, survivors. Disturb Z here. And we are back in ARC. Today, I wanted to give you a little update on the treehouse build. We've been doing a little bit of work getting our stuff situated and kind of wanted to show it off. Now, first thing y'all are going to notice is there's a tree sap tap right here. Don't ask me how I pulled this off, guys, but that is the only spot on the tree that it goes. And I checked all the way around the tree for some reason, whatever, I don't know. It fits right there. So, it is awesome. We can access it. It does work. But let's take a look at what else we got going, guys. Went ahead and started filling it up. We got some of our animals over here. We got us a nice little setup. I decided to go ahead and put smithy table with some boxes on each side of it got some forges going I like I like putting a box on each side of the uh, the smithy and the forges and all that it helps with transferring materials and you know it, it to me it's a real nice feature and it kind of breaks it up a little bit got a couple fridges got our generator going got our, our grill got some beds up in here got a bunch of book bookcases for all the blueprints I find a couple more boxes and we have a spiral staircase so let's go on upstairs and as you can see we open up onto a little room right here it's like a little I'd say it's like an ob observatory deck type thing I threw a couple of a couple of my little animals up here just to kind of storm. Got a couple saber tooths up here chilling. I was actually able to walk the saber tooths right up the stairs, guys. That's why I got a little bit of a bigger gap opening here. I can fill that one spot back in, but in order to get the saber tooths up, I had to have that open. So I decided, why not? All right, now today. We got a nice little scenic overview here of the river. We're going to be working on a few things over here. Namely, these little indentions right here. These little... Oh, I don't know what... I don't know what you would call them, but... This is going to be where I set up my greenhouse. Let's see. Let's go ahead and pull out some walls. Now this should work because we will uh oh that's not a good thing I hate it when that happens and let me run back down and make one more real quick let's see throw this back in here need a little bit more metal there we go and structures greenhouse and the wall all right Now, just like that. Now, we got four sections. We could do more, but for right now, I just wanted to try four. Give it a little bit of flair. Give it a little bit, you know, a little bit of a different look. Four is a nice, even, rounded number, so. Let's go ahead and take some of these, and we're going to take some crop pods. Let's go back over here. And let's see, how big are these suckers? Oh man, you're not gonna... Seriously? Y'all gonna do me like that, huh? I was really hoping to get more than two in a space, but... 
it looks like with the way that wall's catching them that this is probably going to be just about it. Which that's okay. Maybe I can get a medium or maybe a small in between them. Alright, as you can see we have zero greenhouse effect. Let's toss this up here and zero greenhouse effect. Oh wait, there we go. 300. Still zero. 300. 300, there we go. So it is going to work guys. So all we have to do is finish these out, run some pipes up here, and we will be able to have a nice little greenhouse set up up here that we can get crops off of. I mean, that's going to be awesome. So with there being one, two, three, four bays, there are four of the advanced crops as of right now. Which means each bay can hold an, an advanced crop. So I could have two corn, two carrot, two potatoes, and two lemons. Which is awesome. Because I don't really grow anything else. I mean, I grow narco berries, but like I said, if I absolutely needed to, I could always go back and add another little window bay and you know set up a couple narco berry bushes if I want to I don't have to come on you little thing there we go and it looks like I'm gonna have to go build a couple more crop plots after a bit but that's okay Y'all get the idea, so I don't have to run and do that right this instant. Oh, come on. There we go. Alright, let's go ahead and throw in some more windows. Or ceilings, I should say. I'm calling them windows. Anything glass is going to be referred to as a window to me. And did I get them all? Okay, cool. So I had a couple extra ceilings. That is not bad. Not bad. Let's go ahead and throw these on here. And let's see. Can we fly the bird? Yeah, we can fly. Let's get out here and turn around and take a look at it from a distance. So that is what it will look like, guys. Just a little bit different. It kind of breaks up the the dodecagon shape that we got. It might not be for everyone, but I kind of like it. Like I said, it gives us a little bit of character. Let's fly back over here, take a look at it from the front. I don't know, I might continue those all the way around. I haven't decided yet. Depends on how the piping system goes, I guess. Well, we got this nice little area right here. And I haven't quite decided if I want to add a ceiling right here over that. I mean, it's plenty tall. I can fly my birds in and out with it. But I don't know what I'm going to do with this third floor just yet. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Let's go ahead. Take some of this. Okay. Hang on. Give me one second, guys. Okay, guys. We are back. Let's go ahead and throw down a few ceilings. Mm, no, I don't like the way that flexed. Let's see if we can't get it squared off of... There we go. 
I don't know if that will interrupt my greenhouse effect or not having them overlap so we're gonna play it safe and we're just gonna make sure that they don't come on you know you want to fit there you are And like I said earlier, guys, I can always come back in and add more if I decide to. The more and more in-depth I get with this build, the more I'm liking the setup that we got from the beginning. And it's proven to be pretty versatile. I can get quite a lot done with just a little bit of finagling. And we would have had enough if we wouldn't have broke that one. Okay. Well, that is fine. That is fine, guys. So anyway, this is the basic design that we got right now. I'm sure I'll figure out something later with the rest of the stuff. I like the fact that we got the little stone wall separating each one of the little bays. So eh, it gives it, I don't know. It gives it a little a little something. It's not just, you know, like we have a big round glass thing. I don't I don't know. I like it broke up like that. So that and I tried to extend it out. Let me show y'all real quick. I tried to extend it out just to see cuz I thought about putting a rail around the bottom. You don't need one, but as you can see, you put a put a piece out here and you get these little gaps still and that one's not too bad there was one place yeah like say you get these weird gaps going on you can't place the ceiling here and that's what I was running into when I tried to extend it was not all the places were fully fully meshing up like it did whenever we had it on the on the bottom with the uh, with the platforms, the foundations. So, but like I said, so far it looks like it's a fairly good build. Everything seems to be coming coming along quite nicely. There we go still keeping our nice tight gap up around the tree we have yet to lose that and I don't plan on it either and uh oh is this going to be one of those finicky ones there we go And one more. Still can't fall through. Now this spot right here, guys, you are going to have to be careful with it right here without that pillar there. You actually can get stuck if you fall down in there. So just to warn you, put up a railing, put up a wall, or put your pillar up before messing with it because you will fall down in there and get stuck. So, I do hope everybody is enjoying today's episode. If you are, be sure to like the video, guys. And if you haven't already, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Awesome way to show your support. And feel free to share the videos, guys. Throw them out on Facebook, Twitter, whatever social media you use that will allow you to share. Feel free to share. And as always, guys, your support is greatly appreciated. I cannot stress that enough.
And I think that will just about do it for today's episode, guys. I'm going to keep working on it, and when I get a little further along, I'll make another video for you, and we'll continue with this project, and we'll see how, we'll see how big we can get it, and how awesome we can make things, so, until next time, survivors, keep on surviving.